Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. We're just getting the tether finished up. We going over all the wheel bearings and stuff. And on this rim, I think you can see it. There's holes drilled in it. So like when this thing's in storage, the water won't stand in there. And on this one over here, the wheel bearing felt tight, so we tore it apart. And then I got to noticing that the rim did not have the holes in it. So when it was in storage up like this, this rim would fill up with water. And then, the, you know, it would get into bearing. So we went and got new bearings and stuff to put on it. And I think we're going to drill holes in it to solve that issue. Y'all come along and check it out with us. All right, we got the four holes drilled in it. One, two, three, and the other one's right up here. Four. So that way, water won't stand in it to get into the new bearings. Let's get the bearings put in it. Here's the old bearings that come out. And as you can see, they won't even turn. You can see how rusty they are. I'm pretty sure that's because that rim didn't have the holes in it to let the water drain out. You can press them in. I just use inch and five sixteenth socket. It fits it perfect to tap them down in and it'll recess down in the hole on the rim to carry them to the stop. Just make sure that you put your little sleeve that goes in between the two bearings in the rim before you put your second one in. All right, now that we got the wheel bearing fixed, we're gonna try to put some new fingers on the tether here that we're working on. There's a few of them that's missing oh, one side. So let's try to get some of these put on. This bolt's being stubborn to get out, so we're going to put a little bit of heat on it. All right, we got one left to do. I think y'all get the gist of what we're doing. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like what we're doing, subscribe, ring the bell. We don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see y'all on the next one. Have a good one.